You guys want to know what to do with this towel? Definitely not going to be that, but we're going to learn how to use a towel to stretch out our whole body. Now, before we start the video guys, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell and give this video a like. I'm trying to smash all these topics to give you guys information, helpful information that you guys can use at home with a towel. So like, you gotta like the video, like. So I filmed this video for a Instagram clip, but I thought it would be really helpful on YouTube just to explain a little bit more of each exercise. So it's gonna be a little bit quick. I'm just gonna run through the exercises and you guys are gonna see why we're doing it. First thing I like to do in the morning, every morning specifically, is get up and work on my shoulder mobility. Since a lot of times we're sleeping or in these closed positions, our chest are open up, we wanna open up that anterior chain. So you're gonna grab a towel, you're gonna to roll it up, you're gonna do some up and overs. This is really gonna stretch the biceps, the chest, and you're really gonna feel it in your shoulder. Now, same thing can be said by just reversing the grip. So you're gonna put your hands down, you're gonna start behind your back. Mind you, this is a very harder version than the front version, so you're gonna come up and over. Again, you're gonna feel that insanely in the biceps and in the shoulder. To make the exercise harder for the flexible people out there, you could bring your hands gradually closer together. This will make it more challenging on the shoulder girdle. Next exercise, again, for the shoulder, like I said, I really like to take care of them, especially being a fighter. And because I'm sleeping, I like to take care of my internal and external rotation, as well as the tricep. So we're gonna do a back scratch, stretch. So you can take the towel, you're gonna apply pressure coming upwards, getting those internal rotators stretched out. The more you pull, the more you reach. And then the same thing comes for the opposite tricep. So this is great for the internal rotators on the left side. Then I'm gonna take that hand, I'm gonna pull it down, and I'm gonna really stretch the tricep on the right side. Really great to kind of do both, and you can work it in a PNF manner as well. Next, stay standing. We wanna stretch that upper body. We're just laying down, we were compressed on the rib, you know, unless you're wearing a pillow down here, which I'm sure none of you were. So you're gonna take that towel, you're gonna spread up your legs a little bit, and just get a lottery stretch. I know we usually do this with our hands, but with the towel, you're gonna to be able to grab even lower and lower. Get that stretch, again, try to breathe into the areas that you're stretching. So that whole lateral chain on the upper side, you're stretching your lats, you're stretching your lateral fascia, you're stretching your quadratus laborum. Breathe into that space, open up that rib cage, stretch those muscles out, and enjoy the feeling of the ah after. Next, hamstring. All you guys with tight ass hamstrings. Now, this is not a video on hamstring and hamstring tightness when a lot of the cases is just because you have an anterior tilt and you're putting tension on the hamstring. Yet, we still want to take care of some hamstring stretch. So we're going to do a standing one. You can put your foot on the towel. We're going to make sure that we're in that tilt. Nice and neutral though. Okay, and then we're going to come down and feel that hamstring stretch. Lifting the toes up, we'll get a nice stretch all the way down the chain. Next exercise, we want to continue with the upper body. So we're going to come. You guys can do this around a pole, a doorknob, anything like that. You're going to grab the towel. You're gonna grab it across your body and we're gonna stretch the rear and lateral delts. Again, I really like to make a huge focus on my shoulders because of all the movement that I do and all the pads and you know, et cetera, et cetera. After that, you're gonna come in like a standing child's pose position. You're gonna grab that towel. You're gonna to get a little bit of traction going. This is gonna get more of the fascial tensions in your arm. You're gonna sit nice and backwards and we're gonna slightly rotate. Again, we're hitting that lat, we're hitting that QL stretch. As well, if you guys can see the video, I'm lowering my left hip down to really get an even extra stretch on that fascia, on that quadratus laborum as well. Here, breathe. Get the breath in, that's exactly what we want. Next exercise, anterior chain, brachial plexus, uh, arm fascia, right? We have a huge fractional chain going from our neck all the way down our arms. So we're gonna grab the towel, we're gonna get a little bit of traction. We're gonna feel that chest stretch, feel that stretch in the neck while looking away. And we're gonna pronate and supinate the arm. A lot of you, when you guys are gonna pronate downwards, you might feel a lot of tension in the form, completely normal. And this is showing you guys the tension areas that you have that you might not be too sure about. Next, we're gonna get down and dirty. We go on the floor, we're gonna do a simple hockey stretch, but we're gonna make it a little bit more dynamic. So we're gonna go on one knee, we're gonna take our foot out, we're slowly gonna slide out, keeping that core nice and strong, focusing it on the adductors, 
to make it a little bit more of an adductor hamstring type stretch. All we gotta do is slide to the side and then slowly sit back since a lot of the fascia do share and a lot of the muscles that are very close together so that adductors and hamstrings are very interconnected. So trying to get two and two together is great. Now, for all you ladies out there that can do the splits, I'm coming for you, coming for you, all right? This one is gonna be a easy progression to the dynamic hamstring split stretch. So pretty much gonna put your foot on the towel, you're gonna come nice and down, you can put your arms either in the middle of you or in between each leg, and then you're slowly gonna slide that leg out. Now you can either do this in holding the position, but I like to do it dynamically just for this session. Usually if I wanted to focus more on getting the splits, I would do more of some static stretching and PNF mixed together. But just for this, we're doing some dynamic stretching. Next one, we're gonna sit on our butt. Now we're doing an actual child's pose. We're gonna move to one of the sides. So either your right or your left, you're gonna do both anyways. We're gonna get that lateral chain stretch as well. Quadratus form, lat, fascia, lateral chain, perfect exercise. Next. We're gonna work on the wrist. So we're gonna put our wrist down on the floor. We're gonna work on that T-spine and we're gonna thread the needle. So we're working on that rotation of the T-spine, but we're also getting a little bit of the work in the wrist when we're coming down, adding that weight on it. Again, breathing is the main focus. I don't know how much I gotta stress it. Just breathe, okay? Next one, stand back up, okay? Or you guys can take parts of this video and choose what you want. So you're gonna stand up, you're gonna put some tension in the towel, you're gonna pull on it, so you're gonna feel a lot of tension coming down up in the trap. You're gonna put your neck down and you're just gonna hold and breathe, get that trap stretch. Next is gonna be a dynamic single leg raise stretch. Again, a lot of people just think that lifting their leg up is that's it, you're gonna stretch the hamstring, but once we start moving side to side, you guys are gonna notice some areas that are insanely painful and tight. I can promise you that, especially when you're gonna come across your body because now you're hitting more of a spiral line stretch. Don't worry about the word, just trust me, the stretch is gonna feel very, very nice in a bad way. Yeah, that. Next one is called nerve flossing. So a lot of the times when we think about muscle, we think that they're tight, but we never consider of what the nerve is because right, the nerves have a myelin sheet around it and that dura can actually get very tight. So what we want to do is loosen up that sheet, get it lubricated a little more. That was so dirty, I can't believe I just did that, but <laughs> we want to lubricate it a little more. We want more nutrient exchange to be going on there. So what you're going to do is you're going to point your toe, you're going to bring the towel next to you, you're going to point up, up, up as much as you can. You're going to feel that tension in the back of the leg then you're gonna point your toe down, you're gonna feel it on the anterior portion of the foot or the leg, and then you're gonna come back down and you repeat this for reps or time. Next one, super easy, we're gonna stand back up, quad stretch, you gotta do it with your hands. A lot of times I find people have the inability to hold it, so at least with the towel, you can go to where you need to to be able to hold it, and you're gonna pull up as much as you can. Feel that stretch, get the quad, get the hip flexor involved by rotating the pelvis in with a posterior tilt and you're good to go. And then to end this video off, something that everyone should be doing, whether you're doing it in a bridge on the floor, which is very challenging for most people, you can do the same thing standing up. So you're gonna grab the towel, you're gonna come behind. You wanna make sure your shoulders are nice and externally rotated. So we're opening up that chest, we're looking nice and up and we're gonna lean forward, feel that whole anterior portion of our chain, open everything up and then try to breathe through it again. Breathing, I don't even, Fuck man, I don't even know how many times I said that in this video. But we wanna breathe, open up, and that is it. So, pretty much an easy towel stretch that you guys can be doing to target everything in your body when it comes to triceps, biceps, chest, back, anything like that, your neck. Really easy, take some time, switch things up. It's a little fun exercise you guys can do if you're doing your laundry. I did that the other time, because now I'm a house dad. <laughs> or I'm a house boyfriend or I cook and clean now and just make YouTube videos. So yeah, grab a towel, do some stretching, change up the game, try some stuff out. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Again, just trying to give you guys some helpful things that you guys can be doing throughout the day just to get you moving, not sitting on your butt all day. So hope you enjoyed it. It's your boy, that's Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee, punch.